Let's bring in the Interior Secretary, uh, Ryan Zink. I almost said Congressman, but that was your old job. And another old job you had as a Navy SEAL, so you used to acting composed under pressure. Uh, as an Interior Secretary, uh, what, what is your role here? Well, we have emergency response, and response teams on the ground. Uh, dams are concerned. We have emergency rescue teams, as well as we have U.S. Geological Survey teams on the ground that are monitoring the floods, the, the waters, giving better models so we can determine what's going to happen, you know, two hours, four hours, six hours. We also have offshore oil production. I was mentioned about 15% of that capacity of our oil was uh, the voluntary uh, evacuations on the rigs themselves and then onshore we have about six refineries which represent about 500 uh, wow. thousand barrels uh, a day are presently offline. Yeah, which we, we've heard gas prices could go up as a result. We've also heard some reports of flooding certain neighborhoods, opening up dams to save the downtown area. Are you familiar with this and what's the latest there? Well, we're, we're certainly monitoring it, it uh, right now. We, of course, you don't want a catastrophic break. We've seen what happened, uh, you know, recently in California on that. So it's concern. I think the points are is communication, is that if you're going to release water, we want to make sure that's communicated. The area is effective. Yesterday we had a cabinet uh, meeting. The, the president, uh, of course, on the on the line. He's a Camp David, but the vice president was there. General Kelly is there, and it's amazing to see the cabinet. Uh, under the Chief of Staff, General Kelly, this is uh, very much like a military operation by the numbers, making sure the assets are surged forward, making sure we have communication with our assets, and make sure all the secretaries right. are engaged. You know, what's interesting, uh, Mr. Secretary, is that I know your instinct is, you personally, your probably instinct is to grab a boat and start just grabbing people out. But can you talk about the coordination? I mean, we hear about 120 cops and firefighters from New York are heading in. In Utah, the National Guard are heading in. Where are they funneling to, and then how are they fanned out? How, did, how, could, there be a, uh, how could there be a sense of order to the madness? Well, you know, this is where prior planning uh, took place. All of us surge our assets forward. We have, uh, for the Department of Interior, we have swift uh, water rescue teams. We have uh, wildlife refuges there. We have national park assets. And we have people that do this every day. And so, you know, where we're located, uh, multiple uh, places, but we do take our cue from the governor. Uh, and we, we all talk, or we're on the same uh, communications band. We have uh, centers of Corpus Christi and San Antonio, and then on our wildlife refuges uh, themselves, we look at where the high ground is and move the high ground. You know, sheltering 30,000 people is going to be, as, as was pointed out, a big lift. But we've made, you know, well over 1,000 rescues, uh, you know, up to date, and there's probably going to be another 1,000 as the waters rise. But a lot of it is, is, that, is that get your cues from the, the, the local authorities, and for us on, on the federal government side, we're in supporting of uh, the governor. Uh, he is in charge at this, this point in time. But all of us are working together, and we have great gotcha. people out there working hard every day. Mm. Well, Secretary Ryan Sinke, appreciate it. Hey, sir.